the dream I know Deep up my feelings for you a lawyer Jumako, special counsel to Mazi Namdikalo, has accused the state security service of denying Namdikalo access to his medical doctor despite making a formal request to them. The High Court of the Federal Capital Territory rejected Godwin Emifile's request for medical trip abroad. But guys, if I will bring the matter, go like, welcome on to my wonderful channel. So they give on a back-to-back -back update and information as today hot. So if today is your first time to join our wonderful channel, I beg, may you like, subscribe, and share. But don't forget to turn the notification bell so that anytime our news drop, now you go be the first to watch. I might put a bit more matter. But we're gonna come down and go to bring down the matter one after the other as they come our way. So all I miss subscribers, I welcome on especially to my wonderful channel. I thank you all so much for joining us. So my people, may we dive into the mentory. Hello, Jimako. Special counsel to Mazinam Nikalu. Toko accused the state security service of denying Mazinam Nikalu access to his medical doctor despite making a formal request to them. My people, not be smug, bege. Mazinam Nikalu has been facing terrorism charges at the Federal High Court Abuja. Mazinam Nikalu is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. And the IPOB leader has been detained at the SSS facility in Abuja since he was rearrested and repatriated to Nigeria from Kenya in June 2021. Now, Aloe lawyer in a series of posts on his ex handle on Tuesday, said that him and other members of Mazinandika Legatin visited him at the SSS facility on Monday. And the lawyer said they found that the IPOB leader Mazinandika was ill with shortness of breath, low blood pressure, and general feeling of discomfort at the DSS facility. So for this reason, a lawyer Jumako requested that Mazinam Dukalo should see his doctor and they submitted a letter in his regard. But on Tuesday, the doctor arrived at the SS facility but they were denied access to Mazinam Dukalo. My people didn't only end there. A lawyer Jumako went ahead to say that the SSS knew that Mazinam Dukalo was susceptible to potassium deficiency, which affects the heart function. Aloy Jumako also claimed that the SSS diagnosed the condition about three years ago and that the SSS had also confessed to their lack of expertise to treat the problem. Aloy Jumako claimed that the inability of the SS to treat the earlier condition may have caused Mazinam de Carlo current illness. So the reasons of this electoral heart monitor supply by the SSS has been recording low pressure level for nearly nine days in a row without any medical intervention to ascertain whether the blood potassium level is within the clinical acceptable range. My people, no doubt, this is a very serious issue and is deadly. Honestly, it will affect Mazinam de Carlo. This SSS silence is causing more harm on Mazinam de Carlo. When the SSS spokesperson was contacted, he began on the reporter to ask their question. So after hearing the question, Mr. Afunaya requested the reporter to give him some time. He promised to call back. But after several minutes, the spokesman declined to take further calls from the reporters. <laughs> so he's yet to report to WhatsApp and text messages seeking his comments. Not the first time Maznam De Carlo have been telling them that he wants to go for his medical checkup outside the SS facility. Even Aloyo Jumako have already told them that. So, this is not the first time Mazinam Dekalo has been denied access to his medical doctor. The IPO leader in 2022 repeatedly requested access to his medical doctor to enable him to conduct an independent medical examination ordered by the Federal High Court Abuja on 20th October 2021. However, the SS declined to allow him access to his doctor. Angered by the SS action, Mr. Kanu, through his lawyer, Mike Izokumi, sued the SS at the Federal High Court Abuja. So in the suit mark FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 2341 slash 222, the IPO leader Mazdam Dekal prayed to the court for an order granting him unhindered access to medical doctors. Through their lawyer A.M. Daladi, the SSS asked the court to discount the application arguing that records shows that the IPO leader was clinically stable. <laughs> so the secret police insisted that Mr. Mazinam Dikalo had been receiving adequate medical attention at their facility. For delivering the judgment on 20 July 23, the judge Binta Yenko ordered the SSS to grant Mr. Mazinam Dikalo access to his medical record and doctors. 
He ain't going hint her decision on Section 7 of the Anti-Torture Act 2017, which provides that a person arrested, detained or undergoing custodial investigation shall have the right to demand a physical and psychological examination by an independent and competent doctor of his choice after interrogation. The court also said that once Nadgar was constitutionally entitled to his medical record and personal physician for an independent medical examination. So the further heard that the independent medical examination should be supervised by the SSS with the entire process recorded and sealed for security purposes. So as a result, the SSS released Mazinam de Kahlo to see his medical doctors about nine days after the ruling. But now they don't want to allow Mazinam de Kahlo to go see his doctor. Hey, and his head is deteriorating every day. So many people go like nobody's gonna think about this matter in the comment section. I go like here from Muna. Moving on to the next one. The High Court of the Federal Capital Territory sitting at Mantama declined the request for the former governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Godwin Emifili, who is facing trial to be allowed to travel abroad for medical examination. <laughs> my people, the court in their ruling delivered by trial Justice Hamza Muaz heard that the CBN boss, Godwin Emifili, failed to adduce any evidence to establish that he was suffering from any life-threatening ailment. He further heard that no medical report was produced to support the claim that the defendant was ill, noting that he was currently facing multiple charges before different courts. So it is an exercise of the court's discretion to allow the defendant to go on a medical trip. <laughs> they said the defendant through his cancer undertook an affidavit to produce him in court and his offenses are huge, are huge. And where there is need for the court to grant him the application to travel, the court should do so. But as it is, Hamza is saying that he has failed to see any letter of medication in the defender's application. So as it stands now, that he cannot exercise his discretion to allow Godwin Mefele to travel out of the shore of the country. Moreover, he is also standing trial in three other counts. Therefore, the application has failed and hereby dismissed. <laughs> God will really have, through his team of lawyers, approached the court, begging them to permit him to visit the United Kingdom for medical checkup. He specifically prayed the court to release him. The international passport he surrendered as part of the condition upon which he was released on bail. However, the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, which is prosecuting him, opposed the application. The anti graph agency, through their lawyer Mohamed Omiaza, filed a counter affidavit to challenge the request. So they argued that no medical report was tendered before the court by the defendants. Thereby, the prosecution contended that the defendant failed to show that no hospital in Nigeria could handle his medical needs. So they maintain that since Godwin Mifele submitted his international passport to secure his freedom from detention, releasing same to him would amount to a violation of his bail condition. So while insisting that the ex cbn governor opposed the flight tricks, the FCC added that the defendant has has co-conspirators all over the world. So the news getting to us. They are saying that one Anita and Tony are all eight of the defendants who are currently in the UK. So the defendant might be tempted to jump in because he's standing trial in the three different courts. <laughs> so, however, Godwin Mifele dismissed EFC's allegation as speculative, stressing that the agency had the capacity to secure his arrest from the UK should he refuse to return back of continuation of his trial. So, the court in their ruling upheld EFC's opposition and dismissed the application as they said that the application lacks merit. So, I guess I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, opinions are in the comment section. I would love to hear from you once again. Thank you so much for staying to us.